Metro Meals on Wheels was founded in 1997 as an association of independent Meals on Wheels programs in the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area in order to provide support needed to meet the growing demands for nutritious home-delivered meals. Meals on Wheels programs have existed in the Twin Cities for more than 40 years. Metro Meals on Wheels was founded when community-based programs recognized by forming an association, each program could benefit from a partnership that allowed them to share common resources. Metro Meals on Wheels exists to provide critical technical fundraising, outreach, and volunteer recruitment assistance to 35 member programs. Meals on Wheels in Minneapolis and St. Paul metro area meets a vital need for more than 6,800 seniors and people with disabilities by providing regular nourishment, social connection, connecting with recipients to other home-based services, and providing peace of mind to clients, caregivers, and families. Metro Meals on Wheels focuses on providing support and assistance to our members so they can provide the best service possible to their clients. Some of our services include volunteer recruitment, financial assistance through grants to members, advocacy, increasing public awareness of Meals on Wheels, community resource and referral services, ongoing educational training and information sharing opportunities, and coordination and implementation of special projects to assist members and their clients. With the Minneapolis and St. Paul senior population projected to grow rapidly in the coming years, Metro Meals on Wheels provides the necessary services to help member programs to keep pace with the growing community need. So hello everybody, my name is Nicolette. My name is Ming Bogdan. Blessing. And today we will be talking about how Metro Meals on Wheels employs a low-cost routing tool in order to improve their deliveries. So to begin, we'd like to give you an overview of the company as well as the case that we study. Meals on Wheels Association of America is a humanitarian not-for-profit organization. Uh, they focus on preparing and delivering cooked meals to senior citizens that are in need. It was founded in 1974, and it currently supports over 5,000 community-based senior citizen nutritional programs. Metro Meals on Wheels is a local branch of this organization, and it is located in Boise, Idaho. Uh, with, a limited financial, uh, with limited financial resources, as well as a volunteer workforce, the company is challenged with finding an innovative and inexpensive way to optimize their delivery routes in order to get better and faster service to those that they help. So to understand the complexity of this case, there are certain keywords and definitions that we would like to break down for you. The first is API, or Application Programming Interface, and this is basically a set of definitions, protocols, and tools that are used in building software applications. A CPLEX is a complex mathematical optimization tool, and it is used to solve a wide range of difficult programming problems. <coughs> VB, or Visual Basic, is a programming language that permits the creation of standalone executable programs. And VBA is Visual Basic for Applications. And it's basically a tool that is used to develop programs that control Excel. Finally, VRP, or Vehicle Routing Problem, is an optimization and integer programming problem whose goal is to find the optimal set of routes for a vehicle uh, delivering goods or services to various locations. I'm now going to pass it along to Ming, who will cover the rest of the keywords for you. So a genetic algorithm is a method of solving optimization problems based on a natural selection process that mimics biological evolution. Next, humanitarian logistics is a branch of logistics that specializes in, in organizing the delivery and warehousing of supplies during natural disasters or complex emergencies. Next, last mile, is the cost of moving goods from a distribution center to the end user. And finally, information te technology is the study or use of computer and telecommunication systems for storing, retrieving, and sending information. Next, let's focus on the operations management problem. So Meals on Wheels has an inefficient 
planning and deliver delivery system that requires a lot of manual labor. For example, the route coordinator in Anna County, Idaho, must manually sequence stops on a route and manually answer this route sequence online to get turn-by-turn -turn driving instructions. All of this is time-consuming and detrimental to, to the organization's goals. Why is timeliness important? important? Because the organization delivers cooked meals that are perishable and temperature sensitive. Thus, drivers try to deliver all meals within 90 minutes after leaving the kitchen location. As volunteers themselves, drivers also have a limited amount of time. As a not-for-profit, Meals and Meals also have limited financial resources. Overall, the organization needs a low-cost tool to optimize operations by minimizing planning and meal delivery times. Next, I wish to pass on the presentation back to Nicolette, who will talk about why is this critical to the organization. So we know what the problem is, but we need to understand why this problem is critical to the future of Metro Meals on Wheels. As we said before, Metro Meals on Wheels is a humanitarian organization. So they suffer from certain constraints that commercial fir firms do not. They have a lack of financial resources, as we previously mentioned, and they also have a volunteer workforce, which can cause a little bit of issues because each volunteer has a different set of skill sets, as well as availability of times that they can work. And because of their lack of financial resources, the company has no budget whatsoever for any type of technological inquisitions. The company is in need of a program or tool that can minimize the planning and the delivery times of their services. Currently, they deliver meals to over 800 clients a day. They use 21 different routes that covers a span of 2,745 kilometers. Uh, because of their lack of financial resources, this hinders their ability to purchase a commercial delivery system that optimizes routes. So there are such things on the market, but they don't have the money or the resources to be able to purchase it. However, optimization is critical to them because of their perishable as well as the temperature sensitive foods that they are delivering. Any saved time using optimization will help the organization adjust the schedules of their volunteers for other services more accordingly. So certain volunteers wouldn't have to spend time sitting in an office and planning out the de deliveries. Instead, they could take an active role in delivering goods to senior citizens. I'm now going to pass it along to Blessing, who will talk about how Metro Meals on Wheels decided to fix their problem. Hi, so now I'll talk about the different ways that um, Operation Management was able to fix the problem. First, they were able to develop a spreadsheet system. Now, keeping in mind that the organization is a humanitarian organization, so they have uh, budgetary limitations, and so they have to create, you have to keep in mind that when creating this tool, it has to be cost efficient for the organization. So they developed a spreadsheet-based system with a no-fee um, driving direction application interface that enabled them whose purpose was to develop a travel matrix that would optimize the time and delivery option for the organization. Next, they decided to determine what the near um, optimization delivery route routes that they were gonna use. And they did this using a genetic algorithm. And overall, they were able, in, while implementing the tool, were able to reduce the delivery driving time by 15%. And now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the processes that went into implementing this tool. First, they had to determine, again, um, using the drivers, the drivers, one of the things that they had to do was manually input the addresses into the system, and that took up a lot of time. So one thing that the organization and the tool thought to do was to limit that time, and so they created a user input, a user input service that allowed them to input the addresses and delivery instructions into the tool. And once the addresses were verified, it saved the tool. So anytime they had to drive, it made their tra travel time um, uh, lesser. So here's a depiction of the um, tool. So you first start off in the circle that says start. This is how they programmed it. And so the first box, they put in their addresses and the instructions and then they have the choice for a round trip or one way because some routes 
determine based on the addresses and how often they receive the meals. They can either go one way or round trip. So the user interface has an option where they can either do a round trip or one way. And then once they put in the address in this box right here, there's an Excel API that verifies the address using MapQuest. And then once the, the API generates the address, the person who's driving, the driver, has to confirm whether the address is correct. And if it is, then the system saves the address. But if it's not, they have the option to correct the address and do the process over. And once it's verified, the Excel goes on to save it. And once it's saved, it reduces the travel time for them and they don't have to repeat the process every time they have to deliver a meal. So the next step, um, I talked about how they build the travel time using the matrix that they developed. And they did this again using the MapQuest API and Excel, and they did this in the Excel 2010. So anyone who has Excel 2010 or any organization who has access to Excel would be able to use this tool. And this is another um, graphical depiction of that. Again, once they put in, this is an example actually. So when they put in the name of the person, the comments, so maybe very slow to answer the door, um, and they can choose to, if they click this, it can either give them a one way or a round trip, and that helps them you know, efficiently optimize their drive-in routes. And then thirdly, they use the genetic algorithm in order to develop the net optimal rule. And this is how it looks like. So you, again, have the choice for a one way or a round trip. And then it gives you the estimated travel time. So you get to choose the option, which is less and obviously more efficient. And the rest basically go, goes through the same thing. And finally, they were able to prepare turn by turn driving instructions. Again, um, Using the MapQuest and Excel API, the, the system is able to generate the addresses and instructions and turn-by-turn -turn driving, driving instructions for them. And once, again, it generates this, it's able to save it into the system, making their lives a whole lot easier. So whenever they have to deliver, they just have to go back to the system. And if they do have to correct something, they have that option to do so as well. Again, another graphical depiction of this. So again, just like when we use maps when we travel or we use maps to search for directions of where we're going, it generates a turn-by-turn -turn driving instruction. Um, for example, turn left onto region, softer, um, drive, um, NW, and that's a graphical depiction of how the turn-by-turn -turn driving instructions look like. And so now I'm going to pass it on to my colleague Bogdan, who will talk about what are some of the improvements that were as a result of the implementation of the route tool. Thank you, Blessing. Hey, guys. Um, so in 2015, um, after the implementation of the sophisticated route optimization tool, um, the improved routings reduced the total annual Metro Meals on Wheels delivery time by more than 530 hours which is approximately 15%, um, and driving distance by about 10,000 miles. We have that here, some big numbers for you. Next, please. So due to the nature of the, na of the humanitarian organization infrastructures, um, it is difficult to put a dollar amount on the annual savings. Annual, annual savings um, conserved by the route optimization uh, tool. It did, however, save volunteer drivers who used their own cars for deliveries over um, $5,800 annually. So this is a, yet another reason why um, this tool is effective. So this increased volunteer satisfaction and retention as a result of these savings. In addition, the tool has increased the working time of the paid full-time workers at the Meals on Wheels Association of America, who before would have to spend long hours as a whole uh, excuse me, spent a long time as a whole planning um, the food delivery routes. Um, so thus, this would allow them to utilize the newfound time to work on other important business and initiatives. Um, lastly, another benefit um, of the route optimization tool is the ability for volunteers to increase the number of meals delivered per route without the organization actually having to increase the number of volunteers. 
Um, so overall, the tool's implementation, as we can all agree, has proved to have a plethora of operational improvements for the Metro Meals on Wheels' infrastructure, and the organization is already planning to share the tool with other Meals on Wheels programs across the country. Metro Meals on Wheels in Boise, Idaho, and the Meals on Wheels Association of America on the national level have seen many, many improvements since the route optimization tool's implementation. The following is a video from Meals on Wheels covering a year in accomplishments in 2016, a year after the tool's initial implementation in 2015. Aside from being one of the organization's strongest years due to an all-time high in volunteer retention and the recruitment of over 3,600 volunteers, the year following the tool's implementation has seen a tremendous amount of success. And now, Ellie Hollander, the founder, president, and CEO of the national organization and numerous volunteers, will tell you a little bit more about the growth and success that they have witnessed in the organization. The last time we all gathered, we sparked the movement that fanned our flame for growth throughout the year. And now that we're together again, there's no better time to reflect on our collective accomplishments. Together, we strengthened our network. We continue to be amazed at the incredible work you do, and we're proud to support you in your efforts to fight senior hunger and isolation all year long. We welcomed more than 100 new programs into the Meals on Wheels America member family since last August, further solidifying our position as the largest network of senior nutrition programs. We collaborated and facilitated the growth of 11 state associations, providing a valuable regional support system. This past March, you made our 14th March for Meals a huge success once again. Together, you held nearly 350 celebrations, enlisted more than 2,900 community champions, raised over two and a half million dollars, and recruited more than 3,600 volunteers to help drive your programs. Caesars Foundation continued its long-standing support of our mission by donating three delivery vehicles to local programs across the country, creating new and reliable ways to deliver more meals and reach more seniors. Thanks to these generous partners who believe in our mission, We've grown member grant programs exponentially by awarding more than $2.5 million back to you in the last year, over a million dollar increase since last year. Our Love Letters partnership with DoSomething.org generated nearly 1 million handcrafted Valentine's Day cards and smiles to isolated seniors in its third year running. Our group purchasing program helped members save big on the food, supplies, vehicles, and other products and services you need to keep your wheels turning. Savings that equates to more seniors served. A recent contribution from the Nonprofit Finance Fund will allow Meals on Wheels America to move ahead with a groundbreaking Pay for Success pilot project in Baltimore, Maryland. It is our hope that this project will serve as a replicable model for generating significant additional funding for the Meals on Wheels network to scale across the country. And with support from AARP and Caesars Foundations, we were able to explore the extent to which volunteers using tablet technology can facilitate easier access to SNAP benefits for Meals on Wheels clients to help cover the cost of their meals and groceries. Our Meals on Wheels brand continues to be recognized as innovative and powerful. We receive prestigious awards from top-notch industry leaders like Association Trends, Pace Magazine, Transform, and the American Business Award. So um, lastly, we're going to share our thoughts about the project. So um, this route optimization tool also has the potential to help numerous organizations across the country and across the world. So for example, the disaster relief organizations such as the American Red Cross can use this tool to minimize delivery time when transporting tools um, and supplies to troubled areas. Also, police and fire departments can use this tool to reach destinations even faster. Um, the AAA, the American Automobile Association, another nonprofit organization that specializes in roadside assistance, can use this uh, to better utilize their already scarce resources by reducing the miles driven by drivers as a whole. Um, so the sophisticated algorithm is an ingenious solution for these organizations considering their limited budgetary capabilities. Um, it is an inexpensive tool such as this has proven to solve a multitude of problems, allowing the organization to be more effective 
and uh, providing more services to the people that need these donations. Thanks guys for listening, and here is our references page.